got this new got this new flashlight in the mail. This thing, like a little lamp mode, and then low, medium, high, 15. Oh man! And I think if you triple tap, there's a. Ah! Welcome back to another tutorial while I regain my vision and continue to drink from my monster canteen. What's up everybody, Peter McKinnon here. Welcome back to yet another video. It's so great to have you here today. Now, if you are an editor at all and you're using Premiere Pro, you've been in the situation where you've thought to yourself, if only this would just be faster. If I could just speed up this software, if I could just render this fast, I could scrub through, if my playhead would just, if it would just work, if it would just work today, that would be great. The other day we got hung up editing some 8K footage. We started at nine and by 3 p.m. We, we had problems and we had to troubleshoot and find all of these things and it wasn't until about four o'clock we could actually start editing the video. Now last week I put out silently editing on my iPad. what seems like a very easy video to make. It was one of the most difficult videos we've made in a, in a long time. Here's the setup. Background light to the background. C200 for just the audio, shooting on the red, and then we have scratch audio going with the extension road cable all the way down to this janky little thing set up as external audio so we can sync them after the fact. This is your key light. This is what we're working with here. Just so I can do a silent video editing on the iPad. Ugh. So I thought today would be perfect to go over a couple of ways to speed up your system, speed up your software so that it's working top notch as fast as possible for you. So let's start with number one. Point number one is enabling GPU acceleration. Now, sometimes changing this will make render times faster. It'll make previews show up that weren't showing up before. So depending on what you have your machine set to, that could be the factor as to why it's, you know, acting up. To get there, you're gonna go up to File, Project Settings, come down here, click on General. That opens up this window. And right here where it shows rendering and playback, go ahead, click that drop down menu. You'll see it says Mercury Playback Engine GPU Acceleration OpenCL. Now, if you're a PC user and you have the CUDA option available, go ahead and click that. It's only available if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. If you're on a Mac, make sure it's selected to OpenCL, hit OK. So just changing those two options could fix your problems, speed up your machine, make your previews show up all of the above. So go ahead, give that a shot. Moving on to number two. So when you're editing, Premiere is storing cache files. Now, those files start to add up and increase in size, which slow down the machine and it fills up the cache. So there's a way to clear that out to make sure that everything is running as smooth as possible. This is how to do it. Go on up to Premiere Pro in the top left corner, click on Preferences, scroll down to Media Cache, and that opens this window here. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is delete unused. So go ahead, click that button, let it do its thing. Might take a minute, might be a little bit slower depending on if you've done it before. But go ahead, hit that, clear that out of the way. You can hit browse in the top right corner and select your cache files from where you have them stored and move them to a different drive, to an external drive, anything like that. That's what we're doing here. Now, one last thing before you get out of this menu is make sure, I mean, this also depends on your workflow, but we have selected delete any cache files older than seven days because the videos that we're making are pretty much done in one to two to three days max. I don't need it set to the option, which is deleting them every 90 days. We make a video, we edit it, it's uploaded, the footage is archived, it's gone. I don't need those cache files. So go ahead, if you're kind of making the same style of content, select that seven day option. It's gonna keep things running smooth and emptying that bin out over and over. Keep doing this, I'm gonna hit myself in the face. <laughs> it's gonna delete that bin, make sure everything's again running smooth. That's number two, moving on to number three. This is an easy one. You're probably already doing it, but it's playback resolution. Now you'll notice over here on the right side, you can click this little arrow and it brings you a drop down, and you can choose what resolution you're gonna play back your footage while you're editing. So when you're 
you know, dealing with monster files, you don't have to play them back at 100%, but I'm almost always editing at around 50% or less. You'll notice this red footage right here, just this clip, if we play it back, it's super, super, super choppy. So we can change that to a quarter resolution. Now when we hit spacebar, there's a little bit of a lag at the start, but it does play back smoother. So let's change that option to like a 16th of the resolution all the way at the bottom. Now when we hit spacebar, there's no lag and the footage plays back smooth. So that's one way you can start editing a little bit faster without having to worry about, you know, your system being lagged down because those files that you're working with are so big. Some of you might say, well, look, I don't ever edit files that are 8K or I don't ever use 4K footage, but like you never know, you might be on a project somewhere and someone gives you their footage or you get some files from a DP or anything like that that give you a hard drive and you're gonna go home and edit this stuff and you're thinking to yourself, uh-oh, I don't know if my computer can handle this. This is one of the ways to get through that difficulty. Now moving on to number four is another way to speed up Premiere Pro, which is muting all of your effects. It's called the Global Effects Mute. You see, when you keep editing and you put transitions in and you've colored one clip and then you color it again and then you use an, a, a third party plugin or you use Lumetri color on the side and you're adding things to these clips and you're adding them to all of the clips, all of that starts to slow things down. So being able to mute all of the effects that you've applied to your clips speeds things up drastically. It doesn't remove the color, it doesn't remove the effects, it just temporarily puts them on hold so that your machine still runs fast. That's done by hitting this little effects button up here by the playback window. Now, if you don't have that, over on the right side, you can hit the plus. That's gonna drop down a menu of options, go over, find the effects, drag it into your toolbar, and now you have that option, able to click on and off, to mute global effects. That's a fun one, it's pretty easy, give it a shot. Number five. Now number five is none other than creating proxies. Now we've discussed this in videos before, but for the people that are new here or the people that missed that video, proxies basically creating a second version of the footage at a much lower resolution so that you can edit nicely and fast. And then when you export, it replaces those lower res clips with your high res footage and you still have that high quality export. A lot of the time when we are editing red footage, 8K footage, things like that, in order to make multiple cuts and go through everything fast, applying all of these techniques and using proxies, our machines are able to keep up with this kind of thing, no problem. I would liken it to, you know, someone saying, I can't edit 8K red footage on a laptop. Well, if you proxy the footage to 720p, it'll have no problem editing all of that, and then you can just re-export it at high res, which will take a long time with a laptop, but albeit it's going to work, this is a way to save time and a lot of frustration. So go ahead and select the clips that you want to proxy in your bin. Click on one, click on a bunch, whatever you want to do, then right click. Come all the way down, hit proxy, select create proxy. That opens the dialog box that we want to mess with. Where it says preset, there's a little drop down menu. You can choose like 1280 by 720. That's what we're doing right now so that we can just work with like a low res, still HD. Is, is 720p even really HD at this point in life? Like. Let's just go ahead and call that standard definition now. Select that for the sake of speed and your computer's health. Now, right when you hit OK, Adobe's gonna open Media Encoder. That's what it's gonna use to encode all of these clips down to a lower res. Now you can see all of this happening. We'll speed this up so we don't have to wait for the whole thing. Now all we have to do is toggle the proxies in the toolbar. Now that button's located in the same place the other effects button was, so if you don't have it, you can hit the plus and drag that icon into your toolbar as well which I recommend doing. And then when you click toggle proxies, it activates those lower res files and you are able to edit fast, efficiently, and smooth. And that might just be one of the best possible tips editing in Premiere Pro. A lot of the time we're dealing with bad codecs or different types of footage from different types of cameras and all of these things are mixed together and it just becomes a bit of a headache and overwhelming and you wanna know, how can I just, I just wanna get this video done. Ugh and aside smashing your computer or your own face, these things I would recommend trying instead. So, my friends, I hope that saves you some frustration. I hope that helps. I hope that's, you know, something that's gonna work for you and your workflow or fix your problems if you are experiencing slowdowns within Premiere Pro. It's great software, but, you know, there are times where I just, wish Adobe would morph into a person on my desk while I'm editing and I could kill that person and then so I hope that some of these techniques some of these tips tricks hacks whatever you want to call them will help make your day just a little bit better that's it for me guys thanks so much for watching this video hit that like button if you like this video smash it 
if that's something that you're into, 2019 style, subscribe if you aren't already, and, and I will see you in the next video. We're doing the hat today. Peace. I cut my hair and people are like, what product are you using to style your hair? Like, I don't use any, I literally just wake up and go. Train of thought's gone. See ya. The train has left the building. It's gone. I was sewing before I made this video, where I was about to sew. Making a little SD card wallet. Just gonna sew down this side and it'll fold and go into your... Oh, oh there it is. Just like a little, uh, cute little SD card wallet. Everything in here is gone. <laughs> it's funny, I'm by myself and I'm just saying weird things. I'm getting way off track. I mean, I'm so easily distracted shooting back at home now. There's just fun things everywhere. I think it's almost time for an Office Build-Out Episode 3 because, folks, it's happening fast right now. We're going to be moving into that spot soon, and, oh, the videos we have planned for that space. Oh. That's an American $2 bill. I'm Canadian, but it's just cool. We're gonna ramp things up. It's a little slow right now in the summer because everyone's enjoying summer. We call it the summer bummer. <laughs> but when the fall comes, hot damn! Who doesn't love magnets? Fly the flag, baby. My fire alarm started to decide to die outside the door here, so every nine seconds it's going That's like riding a horse. Oh, I just want to drop a missile in one of those. But then my house would explode. You know, I could make a whole video just having a convert, like a one-sided conversation with you. I could make a whole video just doing that. I could just hit record and just talk to you without having a response and just flip around different subjects, have a great time. You just give me the time limit. You want me to talk for 20 minutes? Easy. Zero issues. Maybe I should do that one day. Having a conversation with myself. I'll upload that and you'll know what it is. I'm gonna go.